good morning. We are on the outskirts. I shouldn't say the outskirts, but uh, it's kind of interesting. Cleveland is all around us. Man, this, this is getting a terrible picture. There it goes. And we just passed some steel mills, which unfortunately I have my camera going. And now we're headed off a side road that's going to take us to Cuyahoga uh, National Park, which is basically runs along the river and preserves the history of the Ohio uh, Erie Canal that continued off of Lake Gary down south. So connected it to the Ohio River. Connected it to the Ohio River. Yeah. So we literally turned on a street out of where Cleveland is growing into this area and came into this beautiful wilderness. There's tons of hiking trails, bicycle trails for people who need to do. All right, the Cahoga Valley National Park. This is an official national park sign. There's a map of it. If you didn't catch it before, this canal was to connect Lake Erie to the Ohio River. And what that opened up was a way for the farmers. It literally cut 20 days off a trip from Columbus area over to New York and into the Hudson River. It, it, it took 30 days to get a wagon load of grain or crops or whatever they were building or growing to export to the East Coast from the, from the Ohio Valley. And the canal knocked it down to 10 days. So you can imagine it was a huge boon to the economy. And boy, was it ever. Right, the Ohio and Erie Canal Way, 110 miles long. You know, when they originally dug it, it was only like three feet deep. You see the donkeys towing the little boat down the canal there at the bottom. They used a lot of flat bottom boats. Okay, that's where we are. Mm -hmm. We are right Canal there. So we're here at this little exploration center. We're going to see what it's all about. Oh. Mule power. Yep, yep. And use these mules to tow the boats. We are literally standing on the bank of the old Erie Canal. And these cattails are growing down in it. And this walking trail, well, that's where the mules used to walk up and down and tow the boats. explains the boat elevator and how it works. Pretty cool. Here we go, this is one of the locks. So check out the lock. This is one of the originals. How cool is that?
This is an old trade store. It was built along the canal for the people to rest and restock. We are waiting for it to open. Here's Debbie figuring out how to make the lock work. It's really hard. How to make the boat go down. Well, how would you think? Well, I think there'd be a bunch of to drain the water. Wow, do you see how to drain the water? Open a key. No? Oh. There you go, now open the key. Now move the boat forward. There you go. Now you gotta hook the mules back up. Here come the mules. There they go. Hitch. We enjoyed our time at the Gleason Family Tavern and Store and seeing lock number 38. It was time to head south through the park. Our next stop was the Visitor Center at Boston Mill.
After enjoying our time exploring the Boston Mill Visitor Center, Debbie has a cool surprise for our next stop. We made our way further south and stopped at the Brandywine Waterfalls. The hike was simple and safe, but lots of stairs. Oh my gosh, it's a long way down. It's a long way down. Oh my. I want to stay on the trail. Some more water down there. Here comes some more peats. Oh my. I can hear a waterfall. There you go. Stop right there. The last event of the day was an awesome train ride that started in the south end of the park and went back up through the countryside to the middle of the park, then came back south again. We had a fun narrated tour. We got to see lots of green scenery and learn about the growth of the area, a definite highlight of the day for me.
Here is what's left over of the city of Akron. <laughs> when everybody's done with it. That's right. That is a sewer pipe. Set a ghost set a plant that everybody just cleaned. Yep. Got a long way to move your poop. Yeah. That is the biggest poop pipe you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> It's 30 feet in diameter. 30 feet in diameter, I'm told. And I was also told that before they opened up the staff back in 1950, we headed up the line about halfway through the park and stopped to turn around. It was supposed to be a 10 minute layover, but something happened that caused our delay to run way over 30 minutes. We never did find out why. Here we go, it's the PPP, it's the Pooper Processing Plant. We saw it earlier, you might have been there. 
Yeah, we're going back the other way. Hey, have you ever heard of the term Yep, yep, see how long that building is. They tell me that this building is so efficient, it makes its own electricity from the poop it processes. That's right. There it is, man. It's, it's PPP poop processing plant pipe. That's, that's, that's the pipe that it goes through. They say that thing is so big, when they build it, they drove a Model T through it just to show people how big it was. That's right, a Model T. I guess it's flat on the bottom. Ooh, baby, so we got out late. Late, late, late. From our stop. I like 30 minutes. We are hauling butt. We are doing 24 miles an hour. I think we were doing about 10 when we came through here the last time. We was rocking and rolling. Headed back to Akron. <laughs>